Why are you looking at us like, why are you looking at me like that? There's a big male just coming in on your screen from your left. Just look carefully, look at him. And you can see his sheer, just his presence made this, I would say, a young male behave. He's a sub male. Look at the big guy there, walking. He could be the guy in charge here. Also stops and fits. They have very big cunning teeth, the baboons. You don't want to take chances uh, with these primates here. See the huge man he got on his neck. This is truly wow, he is a big boy. I haven't seen other bigger males than him as yet and my guess is he would be the dominant male here. Very territorial and the males when they charge, they are really in charge and they do not allow the sub adult boys or males to either even mate. Look at him, there's a female there. See the difference I was talking about earlier? Oh, okay. Hmm, finding out if she could be an estrus? I could be wrong. What do you think? What did you sniff? Okay, I'm the boss here. What do you do? Do what you're supposed to do. You see what I was saying earlier? It's the females in general that will always groom the males, and this is exactly what is happening now. Carefully please the males, be in good books with males, and especially if he is the dominant guy here, I don't know what they get, but as I said earlier, my guess is lice, fleas, mites, and ticks. Not sure what other small organisms or parasites they would get on the skins uh, of these primates. And I would imagine, you know, she, she'll be very lucky to feed. And this is, I would what I would call a classical example of a symbiotic relationship because everybody here benefits. And not sure what, you know, tick bone diseases that they would get if they have lots of ticks on their body or on their bodies. Now see the difference on the men between the male and the female. Apart from the obvious difference I was talking about looking at their genitalia, but you can see the male has a bigger mane than the female. She's not lucky as yet. She keeps turning the fur. You can see how long it is. Oh, there, she might have gotten something. So the, big, the plan is create some room and put your teeth in there and just pull it out. They've got very sharp nails also that they would they'd use like a scalpel. Anna Marie, very good to hear from you. And yes, this is something nice to watch in the morning. And I don't remember the last time we saw baboons on safari, uh, especially here uh, in the Masimara. Always a joy to hear your name, Anna Marie. How cool is this? You can see the wind blowing the mains a little bit. It's so peaceful. Just watch how wildlife relate to each other. Very good job. Boss, are you happy?